Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. Today is our lecture number 8 of our free course on ADAP. In previous lectures, we have studied about load flow analysis, how to create the new project in ADAP, how to install the ADAP. In load flow analysis, we have studied a very simple circuit. After that, we have also calculated the results of that simple electric system using the Excel sheet. Then we have compared the ATAP results of that electrical system with that results of the Excel sheet. These are matching completely. Now, in today's lecture, we will study a system, electrical system, which is more complicated than the previous system. Well, in this lecture, we can create this electrical system and then perform the load flow analysis. During creating of this electrical system, we can use more properties of the ETAP. Let us start creating this uh, electrical system. First of all, I will take the grid. This is the grid power grid. Then we will take the bus. Then I will take two winding transformer. Connect this grid to the bus and this one two winding transformer to this bus. Then we will take a high voltage circuit breaker and connect the high voltage circuit breaker to that two winding transformer. We can change the symbol of this high voltage circuit breaker like this. Then we will take another bus. And connect this bus to with the circle breaker. And we will take a numbered load. Here. Then we take another two wide transformer here. And connect it with the bus. Then we will take a low voltage circuit breaker. We can change the symbol of the low voltage circuit breaker like this. Then we will take another bus. And connect to this low voltage circuit breaker to the to the bus and then take the numpered load and connect the numpered load to the bus. Now we will can enter the nominal voltage of this bus. Nominal voltage of the bus let it be 33 kV. Okay the grid Utility grid will take itself the nominal voltage that is 33 kV. You can see here. Okay. Then we can enter the details of transformer. Go to the rating tab. Primary is the voltage is the nominal voltage of the bus that is 33 kV. Secondary we will take 6.9. Nine. The 6.9 is the, the no load voltage of the transformer that the Power rating of the transformer is 25 kV. Then go to the impedance tab. In the impedance tab, we will take a typical Z and X by R ratio. You can see this typical Z and X by R ratio is taken by the uh, ATAP according to the rating of the transformer and voltage rating of the power rating and voltage rating of the transformer. Click OK. Then we will change this nominal voltage to 6.6 .6 of the bus. This is the bus, the voltage here is 6.9. This is no old voltage, and this is the nominal voltage of the bus. And then we will take this cross power and do the details. The nominal voltage is 6.6, .6 and that 
second ray is 0 0.433 this is the no load voltage of the second transformer and the power rating is 2 mv 2.5 mv then click the impedance and take typical z by r z and x by r ratio okay then we can change the nominal voltage of this bus to up 0.415 then click ok then load the number load is and then name plate of the open load is 6.6 and the number load is 14 AVA at power factor 85 click ok here the lump load is the voltage is 0 0.415 and the power rating is 1 MA at 85 of power factor and click ok now we have entered all the details of this side now we can also if you want to display more information on these equipment so of our transformer and uh, load we can go for display option here is the display option and in transformer if you want to uh, show also the impedance then click impedance and if you want to show the also the voltage rating then click the voltage check the voltage rating here and click ok you can see now voltage rating and the impedance is also shown here now we have to make same circuit on another side if we have to make the same system on this side there are two ways one way is to uh, create one by one all these things like we have previously created and second thing is to you can copy this all this data this all the diagram in this side this can be done by using the the system double star this is a system double star you can use this like this you can copy that right click here copy when you copy this it goes to the system double star this is the system double star when you can click here you can see it is the system double star and you can move it you can move from system double star from system dumpster you can move to this position like this and arrange like this okay and you can connect to this with this, this bus before starting making any uh, electrical system in detail I will take you uh, and show you that this is here is the check circuit, check circuit conductivity you should act activate this first of all I have forgotten to activate this now if you want to uh, change and if you want to copy this data this is the transformer and you want to same data on this side on this transformer or on this transformer I can show you how you can do that you can do that by double clicking this here is the this icon this is a copy icon copy data to default here the information is shown that it has copied the data to the default value and click ok now if you want this data assigned to this uh, transform third transformer you can click here go to third and paste and paste then click ok you can see that this data that is 25 mv 33 by utah same thing is happening here is going to copied here same the data is name plate data is uh, entered here now if you want to actually we want to, this data actually here so I can do that like this ok and this ok now again it is same here but here uh, it has not changed I can again do that there is some mistake paste 
now you can see here that this data has been copied here now we can take again a IOT circuit breaker and change the symbol of this IOT circuit breaker like this and we want to rotate this circuit breaker then press Ctrl R and connect this with this and this side with this similarly I can take another low voltage circuit breaker here and change the symbol like this and rotate it by using Ctrl R and connect this with this and this with this by default these uh, circuit breakers are closed high voltage circuit breaker and low voltage circuit breaker both are closed we can open it in normal condition they should be open we can do this thing in two ways one is to here I can uncheck here it gets opener and another is thing is another way is that you can double click here and go to status and click open and there are two ways to open and close this circuit breakers now we have made this uh, system and you have learned how to create this system and how to copy the one side of a diagram to another side and how to copy the data of one equipment to into the other equipment now we can study different uh, generation modes and load modes of this uh, circuit diagram and load flow and then this uh, circuit uh, circuit in the next video thank you